Hi guys, my name is Subtuder, I'm the man on the Silver Mountain and welcome back. Now today I wanted to talk about nuance because this is something that I've referenced before, something that gets thrown around a lot and yet some people don't necessarily always entirely understand it, know what it is or know how to apply the idea of it to kind of the real world and the experiences that they're going through. Um, and so as a result I wanted to go through it. And nuance is a pretty simple concept. It's it's one that suggests that there are subtleties and complexities to things that maybe aren't as apparent as the entire issue kind of taken swiftly or, or kind of um, at first glance. So for instance in regards to nuance you can say that political issues are nuanced and that is probably one of the places that, it get, that the word gets the most use currently. Um, simply because there are so many people along the grand scale of left to right and then you've also got the other axis that's less talked about in regards to kind of libertarian versus authoritarian and it's it's this big grid and you can be anywhere on it and so with each person being individual with each person having their own upbringing their own kind of inclinations to between, to, to between one thing and another the the nuances the little subtleties the the little complexities and and differences and distinctions here and there can get lost which is where you have people who you know as i've said in other videos are looking at agreement and seeing approval just because they can't see the subtle distinction between the two where someone might agree with something that's said because as far as they're concerned it's factual it may very well be actually factual um, it might not be factual but does line up with other things it might be a kind of more common sense thing that's that's not grounded in anything or whatever and then someone that's opposed to that idea because they're either on an extreme or because they're just not in favor of that particular thing labels that individual or, or attacks that individual the same way that they would anyone else who is on the opposite end of things from them even if that person is otherwise on their side you know it's it's what we've seen um, happen an awful lot in regards to the kind of riots and arguments that have been happening at universities in various places around the world where speakers are being uh, no platformed or where you're looking at the number of people that have been driven away from kind of one political side or the other political side either into the middle or straight off to the other end just because People haven't been appreciating the subtleties of their um, their position and as a result it's been enough to throw them as far away as possible because they don't want to associate with the people that are attacking them you know as you'd expect who wants to be kind of up close and personal with someone that's attacking you all the time and so you know again the, the there are nuances and subtleties beyond that though you know, in regards to what people are willing to accept, in regards to what people are looking for, in the in regards to the way that people communicate, or in regards to the way that people format their discussions and arguments. Now, for instance, with um, the, the just people in in and of themselves, we are nuanced creatures. We we may very well think basically in serial, like one thought after the other after the other, because our brains work that way. We we multitasking um, is is very much a, a myth because it's not doing two things at once it's two, doing two things kind of very quickly at the same time but still independently and so you know when, but when it comes to thoughts that trigger cognitive things or emotional things um, you know one thought can trigger numerous different elements of that you know the number of times that you can hear a song that makes you both happy and sad or see something that makes you both happy and sad just because it reminds you of something or because of what's actually going on you know it's sad that someone's suffering but you're happy that they've come through it better um you know it's it's sad to see the world collapsing in i don't know where where there have been these um the earthquake in mexico for instance you know it's sad to see that but it fills you with hope and happiness at the same time because of all of the people chipping in to try and help those those um, people caught in collapsed buildings and and all of that kind of thing you know it allows you that that two-way um, interaction within your own head where there's this divergence between two emotions from one thought from one 
area of stimuli. And as a result, with in regards to to nuance and things like that, and taking that all of that into account, this is where it's important to listen. Yeah, I I did uh, a video last week on thoughts that I had as a result of um, my girlfriend's graduation, and there were some people, mostly floating around her, who apparently felt that I was either too harsh or that I hadn't enjoyed my time there or whatever else. And so, you know, my position on it was nuanced. And even though I spent the first five minutes of that video trying to explain where those thoughts and things came from, um, it was interesting to kind of see how people were ignoring that, you know, and, and not even necessarily watching the whole video before they gave up and refused to to um, kind of appreciate where I was coming from. Now, the thoughts that I had in that situation were, as I titled the video, they were from afterwards. They were, you know, it was thoughts after her graduation. It was things that had come into my head after living through this alien experience and appreciating it for what it was and dissecting it, yeah? As a result, the, the, the nuances here, the subtleties are, do I think back to that day and think that it was a wonderful time with where I was getting on with, with um, you know, I was so happy for my girlfriend, I was really enjoying my time there, it was incredibly interesting to go through and watch, uh, I was really happy for all of her friends, I'm really glad for her parents that she got through it and did really well, because then in turn, you know, that's that reflects well on them and they seemed really happy. You know, it was a really nice time to spend with all of those people and enjoy that time. Does that mean at the same time that the the like thinking back to that and reanalyzing it, working it through in my head, does it mean that those thoughts don't also trigger the the kind of situation that was there, the the negative uh, environments and areas that I did witness, um, the reinforcement of things that I already knew or had already experienced, but then coming to life in a new way? You know, I brought that. I did that video and lent it much more towards the things that I was observing and so on because those are the things that I felt needed much more discussion because those are the things that need fixing. I don't need to fix my girlfriend or her friends or her family. They're, you know, I, I love my girlfriend to bits, her friends did incredibly well and her parents seemed really happy. In which case, what's there to fix? There's not anything for, them, for there for me to kind of discuss there. And so then, in spite of the the, the me trying to explain some of these things at the beginning before getting into the video, the nuance was missed, the subtleties were missed, the divisions that I was drawing in some instances were missed. You know, I wasn't saying, I wasn't screaming for the abolishment of university or, or for anything like that. I didn't even say that it had been a waste of time. What I did say was that the system wasn't good enough and it could do better. So, you know, but again, nuances, subtleties, little things, apparently very easy to miss, even amongst people that I respect and care about. You know, even even myself, I miss things sometimes, especially when I'm talking to my, my own family, because as with anyone, they're the people that get under your skin the most, yeah? And so as a result, they bring out, at times, the worst in you. You know, the, the tolerances become lower, the the attention to detail disappears, and you, you're more relaxed, but also you're more susceptible to, to kind of missing things and flipping out. So... You know, it's it's one of those things. No one's perfect, can't expect perfection by any stretch, but the nuances are important, and that's one of the reasons why I've been seeing a lot of people sharing, um, again, another video from Simon Sinek. I, I mentioned him last week in, in that video that I've been talking about, and again, another video of his starts going viral about how you should be the last person to talk in the room. You know how you should ask questions and and stuff like that and i've mentioned these things myself before you know it's very much what coaching is, is based around and what discussion should be based around um but again it, it applies very much to this because if you sit back last person in the room to talk last person there to to in, like throw out an opinion or whatever else then you know you listen you're able to to pick up on the nuances pick up on the subtleties the complexities the little things that otherwise might go miss uh, you know completely missed and it shouldn't be a case of you've heard a thing and then have decided to take umbrage with it and, and attack it or be upset with it. it. Ask the question. 
you know, it should be about asking questions, not about making judgments. But again, you know, this is something that I just wanted to touch on because not just because it, you know, it come up in my life, but also because, again, we're seeing it happen with the stuff coming out of the UN General Assembly um, in regards to things that people are saying, in regards to whether or not people are reading into or suggesting that there's nuance in places that there isn't any or trying to to um, ignore the nuances that are there to just attack people you know and obviously that's on the world stage that's a much much bigger issue and it's it's something of a a problem overall for everybody to take into account you know you don't know everything that's going on in someone else's head you don't know um, everything that they're considering or working through in regards to how they want to put their point across we're human we're not perfect sometimes we mess up when we say things sometimes we're not accurate um, to, to what's going on up here and unfortunately telepathy isn't a thing so we can't just shoot our thoughts directly into one another's heads to achieve that kind of superior understanding um, so with with nuanced and and kind of situations that have these very small uh, kind of fragile distinctions um, these are things that we need to start paying attention to more and instead of just getting upset and flying off the handle or, or kind of turning things around and attacking people just because they've agreed with someone that, that you don't agree with or because they've suggested something that maybe rubs you up the wrong way or just because you're uncertain about what they're saying ask questions first gain more information first don't just get upset don't just flip out don't just attack those people you know it's it's much more important to gain understanding and and engage in discussion than purely to get upset over something that arguably isn't at all controversial in the slightest but just has not sat well with the way that it, it came into your head or the things that you've associated with it and so have decided to ignore the minutiae of what was said in favor of some broad takeaway that you've you've picked up from it but anyway guys uh let me know what you think you know uh, how often do you find yourself ignoring neurons how often do you find the, the 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 little subtleties of the things that you say are ignored even by people that know you really well and you would hope would know better you know um let me know it's it's a thing that again i think needs to be discussed because if you had everyone appreciating the little distinctions and subtleties and changes and all those all those little bits and pieces all the stuff that at times can almost be like subtext to conversations if you had those if you had everyone trying to pay more attention to those pick up on it learning to work with it and and kind of then reflect and question and and so on before actually coming up to a, a final conclusion I, th I think we'd be in a better place. I think things like discussions around peace or around the environment or around, um, I don't know, things between just people out on the street, I think it would work out better, you know. But uh, anyway, guys, as said, let me know what you guys think. And uh, otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the video tomorrow. Take care. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, then please drop us a like, share this video, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the video tomorrow. Take care.